The most simple, effective piece of advice I ever got when it came to reaching my goals, whether it be building muscle, dropping body fat, getting my pro card and strong man or bodybuilder, whatever it was, was this. And it works like a charm. You gotta check this out. It's simple. Run to it. Now, what does that mean? When I, when I was told run to it, I was completely confused. Had no idea what the hell that meant. Well, let's break that down. Run to it. Ultimately, if you think about reaching a goal, there are many things that you end up not wanting to do. Many things that you find a reason not to do. You procrastinate, you make an excuse. And inside of a goal, there are thousands and thousands of little things that need to be done. And when we make a habit of running to it, meaning running to the things we don't wanna do, not avoiding the things we wanna do, it changes the whole platform. Literally, when you run to it rather than run from it, you're gonna be blown away with how fast you reach your goals. It's literally that simple. I'm gonna get deeper into this. Now, the reason we run from it is literally the way we're programmed. It's the way we're wired. See, our brains were actually designed to avoid things that were difficult. Our brains were designed to avoid discomfort. Our brains were designed to avoid the things that scared us as a means of survival. When our brains were designed thousands and thousands of years ago, the things that challenge us are obstacles and things that scared us. These things were trying to eat us for lunch. In today's world, none of that's happening. But it's a learned behavior. As human beings, we've been doing it for thousands of years and we still run from it. Meaning we run from the things that challenge us. We run from the things that scare us. We run from the things that we don't wanna do. We run from the things that are more difficult when in actuality, reaching your goals has everything to do with confronting the things that are difficult, confronting the challenges, confronting the difficulty. It's that simple. If you create a habit of running to it, anytime you find yourself not wanting to do something, that's the crossroad. And if you can literally develop the habit of recognizing in your mind, in your brain, starting to procrastinate, you're starting to create an excuse, or even if you're just like thinking through what you've gotta to do too much, that's the crossroad. Boom, run to it. Dive into it, get started, get it done. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is you've gotta start running towards the things that you don't wanna do. Here's the thing, our challenges, our obstacles, our problems, whatever you wanna call them, yes, they're in front of us. Yes, we don't wanna do them. But what we don't, or most of us don't understand is just on the other side of that challenge, just on the other side of that difficulty, there's a reward. And just beyond that reward, there's an opportunity. And if we start to run to the things that challenge us, run to the obstacles, run to the problems, run to the difficulty, and overstep that, push through it, overcome it, do what we gotta do to get to the reward, and then literally follow up to the opportunity, it becomes really, really addicting and it's not hard to do. It's the whole concept of getting this process started. The easiest way to get it started is to recognize when you're starting to run from it. If you can recognize, okay, here I go. I'm finding myself making an excuse. I'm finding myself doing something easier. Bam, that's the moment. Run to it. Even if you run to it and you screw it up, even if you run to it and you fail, it doesn't matter because you're gonna fail thousands of times within one success. That's just part of the equation, but that's a whole different video. Run to it. Because once you start to run to it, you're gonna recognize that perceived problem, that perceived obstacle or whatever it is, is not that bad. And just on the other side of that, there's a reward. And just beyond the reward, there's an opportunity. When you start stacking up rewards and opportunities, you're gonna be absolutely blown away at how fast you get to your goals. It's a different world. I know this sounds really weird, it sounds really trivial, but it's one of those things like, if you're a father, no one, you, you can't explain to a non-father what it's like to be a father until you're a father. It's just that the way it works. I'm a dad and I had no clue. It, it, once I became a dad, it was like, boom, life was different. And I realized how different I was because I was a father. This is kind of the same. I mean, once you actually experience the other side where you run to it and it's an, it's an instinct, it's a natural reaction because right now your brain, you've got an instinct from your brain to run from it. Once you override that and you create a new habit and you start running to it, it's gonna change life so much. It's one of those things that you really can't explain to someone unless they've had a piece of it. Now, how long does this take? Realistically, if you make literally a daily practice of trying to recognize, and I say practice because this is daily shit, even once you're here and you're starting to run to it, 
you still have to practice it every day to keep it sharp. But to learn it, if you practice every day, if you find yourself, find that crossroad, find that line, where you find yourself starting to procrastinate, you find yourself starting to make excuses, you find yourself doing something other than going straight ahead, this is the crossroad. If you can make a practice of identifying this point, it will be so much easier because in most cases, that primitive brain is gonna tell you to, to make an excuse, procrastinate or get away or do something and you're not even gonna know it. Again, most people don't even have a clue they're doing it, but they're, they're doing it. So if you can identify that crossroad and instead of veering away from what you're supposed to just keep forging ahead, you will be very surprised how quickly this whole thing will fall into place. You've gotta focus on registering when you're doing it. When you find yourself not wanting to move forward, that's when you have to move forward. Even if you move forward into knowing that you're gonna do something that's gonna be really difficult, it's gonna screw you up, you're gonna fail, it doesn't matter. It's about creating the habit of running to it. Once you create the habit of running to it, you'll get there and you'll figure out how to deal with the obstacle or the problem. It's just a matter, of, that's not an issue. Just beyond that, there's the reward. Just beyond that, there's the opportunity. And pretty soon, you can't wait to continue to run to it because you know running to it is gonna make you feel good because you're gonna get a reward and you're gonna have another opportunity. And with rewards and opportunity, that is where the goals come quick. So again, one simple piece of advice, run to it. When you find yourself veering off course, get back on course and run to it. Whatever you were avoiding, get on that stuff. Again, if you like some of the stuff I'm talking about, this is what my coaching's all about. In the description below, there's a link. Hit that link, check it out, and see if you're a good fit to work with me, if I'm a good fit to work with you. But the bottom line is I am here to inspire you. So whatever you do, keep kicking ass out.